Greetings everyone. Uh, Dimple here again welcoming you all to today's session on Android Framework Components. Uh, today we will see audio manager self-managed call for VoIP calls. So uh, for VoIP calls, VoIP is nothing but it's a technology that allows you to make voice calls using a broadband uh, internet connection instead of regular phone lines. So instead of uh, having SIMs in our phone or regular phone lines, what we do is uh, through internet we make calls. Okay, so that time uh, we use VoIP calls. Uh, so in order to perform this VoIP calls, we use Bluetooth low energy technology. And uh, if we want to write a sample application that performs this VoIP call, then there are a series of APIs and series of steps to be followed. And those steps we will see in today's session. So uh, without much delay, let's get started. Uh, the agenda of this session is uh, this video covers communication applications such as uh, voice over internet protocol that want to self-manage their audio and hearable device state. So in large warehouses, okay, from one end of the warehouse where they want to connect to the other end of the warehouse, what they have to do, both the devices, whichever they want to connect to, should be on the same network. Then they can perform VoIP calls. So in large warehouses, large malls, largely retail stores, these VoIP calls are commonly used. It's nothing but they just call based on the internet connection. They do not depend on a SIM card or any other... Uh, uh, phone connection lines okay so that's the uh, main uh, point of VoIP calls basically calls working on internet so how to create this uh, application so suppose I'm looking to write a sample application which performs this VoIP call then how to write that application we will see in today's session before starting a small note, starting in Android 13, applications must migrate from audio manager start Bluetooth uh, source to audio manager set communication device. Okay, uh, to just support upcoming BLE audio headsets, this change is backward compatible. So to support BLE audio headsets, we have to uh, use this uh, API to this API. So the first step okay in the first step in my application what should it be register the audio callback so always in every application we see the first step will almost be registering the source which we are using so here uh, we have to register the audio callback okay we have to create an audio callback uh, device which notifies your app when the audio device connect or disconnect from the device so we have to register this audio device callback and we have to add the overrided methods uh, when we come to know if the device is added or if the device is removed so basically registering the audio callback that is the first step we have to do and these are the APIs and the functions which are used to perform that. Second step is check for active communication device. Okay, we have to use this current communication device, sorry, get communication device API and get the current communication device using the audio manager instance. So we have registered now. Next we have to get the correct communication device. Okay, and also we have to listen uh, if there are any changes to the device. So if I attach one uh, Bluetooth headset, immediately I remove and I attach one more in, uh, Bluetooth headset. So that change of that device should be detected and that is done using this um, on communication device changed. So this is a listener that is uh, listening if there is any uh, devices added or removed from the a mobile phone so audio manager this audio manager will let you know which communication device is currently active using this get communication device and it will be listening for a communication device has changed and it will let your application know when routing is applied uh, and the device that you selected is active so i hope this is clear in the first step we just registered the audio uh, devices in the second step we are listening for the active communication device and if the device has changed we are implementing a listener to notify our application 
let's move on to the third step third step is find ble audio device okay so we have to get a list of currently available devices using get available communication devices api so using this uh, function we are getting the currently available devices and uh, user can choose one of the devices uh, using audio device info uh, dot uh, whatever device they want to choose so we have to use this particular get available communication devices to see which devices are available for a voip call voice over internet protocol which devices are suitable we have to see and we have to use uh, this audio device info to see if the device is a bluetooth headset okay this example looks for first device that supports ble audio but you might also consider finding all supported devices okay all supported devices in a for loop uh, we are uh, actually getting it and whichever we want we are setting that particular type of device so we are we are selecting a ble headset and we are storing in user selected device type and here we are querying all the available devices if that device is equal to whatever i have selected i am setting that as an active device okay this was my third step next we'll set the communication device okay so after you find a compatible device use this set communication device api to set the device you wish to route to i mean uh, the device where you want to listen the audio when you perform the voip call checking the result informs uh, your app if audio manager is trying to set the device or if it encountered a particular error now ble audio device has been set uh, when placing a call and the audio streams will have the correct audio routing in this particular step audio routing is performed correctly so this was my fourth step and my fifth step is uh, after your app finishes a call or a session you have to obviously clear all the resources right so we have to clear active communication device using clear communication device api this helps us to ensure that user has a great experience when moving between different applications so it's easy right uh, first step is just we are registering the audio callback okay we are using this uh, audio device callback api second step we are checking for active communication device so there will be multiple devices which will be connected disconnected i may be attaching uh, multiple bluetooth so uh, it sets one after the other so it will get the active communication device and it will uh, uh, listen to the uh, uh, listen if the device is changed okay and it will inform the application the attached device has been changed next we are finding the bluetooth audio device okay whichever we want we can actually set up for a suitable for our voip call uh once the bluetooth audio uh, device is set up we are actually performing the communication here okay and then we are ending the particular session using clear communication device so these were the five steps you have to implement and uh, follow if you want to write your own application which uh, uses the voip call voice over internet protocol so i hope uh, it gave you a uh, gist of an idea like uh, how uh, the voip call applications are written these are the basic steps and you can obviously add more customizations however you require uh, to make your app more user friendly and uh, meaningful so uh, thanks everyone for watching this video i'll see you all soon in my next session until then everyone take care bye